hello everyone hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another video if this is your very first time coming across one of my video you are welcome and if you're a returning subscriber or returning viewers thank you so much for coming back to check my video in this video i did some researches about ghana reaction to nigerian living there you know i did some researches and know what is going on like is a, is a nigerian person living in ghana nigerian people living in ghana are the ones that actually expose this stylishly stylishly it's not like they intentionally just want to expose it but it just come out stylishly you know i wouldn't mention that person so the first thing here is that they said if nigeria seated if nigeria seated they will be telling themselves to lock the door because nigeria is there okay if Nigeria seated in Ghana, maybe Ghana people are ganging, they are together, sitting together, and Nigeria just seated with them, they are going to be telling themselves, you know, the landlord, according to what the person said, that the landlord will be telling their, their tenants that they should lock the door because if Nigerian is there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't know. Are you also convenient? Like having a mind toward a person like having negativity is mind toward group of people and always being insecure you are just insecure because someone seated so what does that mean they will steal your things right has nigeria ever done that to anyone that are actually living in nigeria have you ever heard anything like that no way so this actually proved that you are not welcoming people in Ghana. <laughs> yeah. Welcoming people and a land that care about our children and adopted children. We never treat a child like that. Yeah. A motherland that care about the children. That also knows that oh, I have a children and I care about those children. And also more people that those that are not my children and are also like the age of my children. You know, something like that. You will never treat your own child like that. Even adopted child. You will never treat that child like that. There is nothing welcoming about Ghana. No way. Welcoming? Just because someone seated. So you feel like you are going to get armed. They are going to arm. I'm very sure you also be calling the police like, hey, someone is, and Nigeria is around, though, be watching also. You're just insecure. You are not going to have peace of mind. Because all your mind are negativities. You, there is no way. When are you going to even, I, I don't just get you. I don't get that mentality of yours. So, Ghanaians, come and defend that. I know you will still defend. Come, come on. There are more. I will still talk about them. So, another one says, ladies doing prostitutes in Ghana. Okay, ladies are doing prostitutes. Any ladies they see in Ghana that are just doing some, maybe they are wearing some kind of clothes or they are doing anything negativities or just going with boys, you know, something like that. They count them as Nigerian prostitutes. So every people there that were prostitutes are Nigerian. Ghanaians are not prostitutes. Like they are not prostitute Ghana between them. Hmm? They are not prostitutes other countries people they I swear that they are doing those businesses of prostitutes together. Okay, yes. If you said they are not prostitutes, what about your mans, your men, your guys that were patronizing them? Are they not prostitutes? Are they not Ghanaian? Hmm? Come and answer that question. No? Are they not Ghanaian? Are they not prostitute? Prostitute is prostitute. They are not your wife. So you went to them. You actually went to where the best. So you're also prostitutes. Even those people that were selling to them, those people that they are, some people are also selling in that places where those prostitutes are working. You are also prostitutes. So tell me, what makes you different? What makes you different? That's the question. Like, I don't just get you. I don't see anything that's special or different about you. You're just the one that is a different thing. I'm making it look like mm, we are this. Well, you're not. You don't even prove what you say you are. You do not prove it. I already said this, you know. I said it clearly in the video I did recently. I said that your mind are possessed. I'm not lying. I'm serious. Because someone cannot just be, you cannot just be a woman being a be acting, insecure, acting every hour, having every positive, uh, negativity, attention, and be using that height to watch a particular kind of group of people. If you are like, you are mentally okay, I don't see any reason why you should be doing that. Mm, Nigeria did this, eh, Nigeria, everything, everything is actually based on the, eh, when, okay, 
I think I will get into it. I will get into it. So you're not looking for an excuse. You're looking for everything to just make for her skills, to just use to do things, you know, things like that. It's not making sense to me. So, everything that is bad in Ghana, that is bad in Ghana, that people are doing bad in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Ghana, imaginations, they are Nigerians. And you say you are okay. Everything that gone bad, everything that is bad in Ghana, imaginations, they are Nigerian. But the question is, are we treating your people like that? Are we treating your people like that? <laughs> that is pure wickedness, if you don't know. You are wicked. Pure wickedness. That is it. For you to have that, that's pure wicked. Yes. You are just wicked people looking for excuses to blame another person. That's who you are. Nigeria is not good. Nigerians are not good. Is it that bad? Is it that bad? Or you are holding on to something that will never let you move forward. Yes. It will be stopping you. It will never let you move unless you free your mind. Until you free your mind. Eh, Nigeria do, Ghana must go. They say Ghana must go. Since when? And have you not done yours? Have you not? You are just unforgiving people. People that have ma a wicked hearts. That's who you are just. Have you not done yours? You done yours too. So you are not looking for excuses. Uh, eh, Nigeria must go. Eh, they have to go. Hmm? They say Ghana must go. Ghana must go. Don't you do your home. Don't you do your home back. So what are you still holding on to? What? You are just poison minded people. You are holding on to that thing that has happened all these years ago that almost everyone that are involved have already died. Everyone have gone to God. Even the your Ghana people that are also included and our Nigerian people, they are, they are they have left. So they remain the children. So some people someone are saying, eh, we know that and they are paying for what they did wrong. When they did before. Don't you do your own. What you are doing now, does it justify what has happened before? Or you are just wicked people for no reason? Does it justify everything that has happened before? Let's let it go normally. You are the problem. But you wouldn't. You would just be looking for them. Hey, hey, do this. Hey, hey, we do this. Hey, Nigeria. Hey, Nigeria. They do this. They did that. Can they come? Can they come? If a child was a Nigerian and Ghana, I'm sure that child is a problem. A very big one. Because how can, it's like a father and a mother that were like this. Father and a mother like enemies. So how do you want that child to grow mentally? How did you want that child to grow? Like, what do you expect to come out from his or her mentor? It's what do you expect the result to be when you are like this? According to what I've seen, Nigeria actually seemed the peace. Like, they want the peace. But Ghana do not want the peace to reign. Some Ghanaians, yes, I know it's not all of you, but some Ghanaians do not want the peace to reign. All they just wanted is just to be doing things. And, mm, and that time, we lost our people. We lost our people. We lost our people. Don't Nigeria also lose? <laughs> is it because Nigeria don't used to talk too much? Like, they don't used to just bring, uh, we did this, and this happened. This, they don't used to, but because you do talk too much, you think, you think you're the one that lose the most. Huh. That's why sometimes, that time too, that time, they say you are chasing some Hebo people that you are working, you are chasing them away. And you say they cannot do business in Ghana. So they will come to your country, they will not be, do business. And you say you, you are, they are doing bad things. You don't provide work job for them. There's no work in Nigeria, as they said. It's not that bad. The matter of fact is like, some people just do not want to stay in their country. They just want to go to other countries to like, okay, you know? Do you want to go to other countries to also explore or to do things there instead of settling down where they grew up? That's just it. That is just the truth. Be. So you are not telling them, eh, some people some were selling things. You are saying, eh, they should change out. Eh, they deported it from, from Ghana because she's doing this. Anything that's not ridiculous, the thing that is not. The kid that's supposed to be the one to be fighting against something like, okay, give me my bread. It's not your bread. Give me my bread. It's not your bread. That's exactly how this fight just look like. Exactly in my face. It's my high. Yeah. Any little thing like this. Things should not happen. Any little things. You just, your people started broadcasting it for you or your TV or your international TV or your radio. Radio station, they'll be broadcasting everything. Little, little things. Is there no other things you can do? Like, there's nothing they can actually broadcast to you anymore that is of benefit for you, except negativities. Is that all they promote, they give you in your country? Are you could say, 
we have education. We have it's all that is well educated. I don't think you will be acting like that. Like so that educated, like <laughs> when it's not that you go to the school of boys, the mind the school that they school you how to do that. But where your radio taught you and your televisions. Because our in our country, we don't do that on our radio stations and TV. That's not what we do. We focus on ourselves. But still, you are focusing on us. Hey, Nigeria, they do this. They need to live. They must go. They must clinical. We have this. We own this. That's the one that are owning it. Instead of us, we're supposed to be benefiting. They are the ones that are benefiting. Pure, jealous, wicked people. That's exactly what you portrait. That's what you've been portraying all this. Why? And you never change. And I know you will never change. And I love it. You will never change. Wow. That's very good, actually. Like, <laughs> let's ride on. Keep on going. Anyways, I've come to the end of this video. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section. And I'm going to see you on the next video. Bye.